I'm at the tail end of editing my get ready with me video, but I just wanted to explain real quickly why I took my break and where I've been. My grandfather passed away, who was basically my father, and it was really tough, and there was a lot of stuff surrounding that. So I just kind of took some time to not put a lot of pressure on myself about this, focus on work and some other stuff going on. Um, I'm not really going to go much into detail because I'll just be a crying mess, but I just want to let everybody know that that is the reason why I was gone and I took a break. So thank you for letting me take my break. I'm back. I hope to provide a lot of good content and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I'm in a little different form today. Uh, my name is Alicia, also known as Alicia Chappie on here. And I'm documenting my weight loss journey, finding uh, the start solution, how it's changed my life. And yeah, look at my other videos to go ahead and see some food inspo, kind of see where I'm at, my weight loss, all that. I am just going to do something a little different today. I'm going to do a get ready with me, catch up, answer some questions, that whole situation. I've never done one of these before. My friends have always wanted me to do a video for makeup, so here I go. This is going to be my simple one. I don't wear lipstick on a normal basis. This is not going to be a full glam. This is just a, like, super simple whatever. All right, I'm just going to start with uh, foundation. I don't really have a primer. I just moisturized my skin a little bit ago, which a lot of people use as a primer. Insane. Um, I actually have gained three pounds back because... Stress is not good for you. I didn't know if you knew that, but... <laughs> uh, and then I'm just putting Too Faced or in this way. If you haven't watched my first video, a lot of people ask me how long I've been vegan for. Um, I started, I went cold turkey four years ago. Um, my friend at the time and coworker, um, Betsy, uh, was vegan. And I just thought it was such an odd concept. So she kind of turned me on it and just made me think and cold turkey one night, I went vegan. Yeah, I've pretty much been vegan since. So as you can clearly tell, there's an unhealthy way to be vegan. I'm very well versed in it. <laughs> Why have I gained a little bit of weight back? Right now I'm kind of fighting the fact of you, I, I'm me either getting uh, eight hours of sleep or prepping food. I think I've made it clear that this is not gonna be a very easy journey for me. And I honestly think it's gonna be um, I do not have a set schedule for work. I do not work a nine to five. I do not work a six to two. I do not work a two to 10. It is six to two, two to 10, six to 10 PM. Two, I mean, it's all over the board. So I'm genuinely doing the best I can. <laughs> also, this is the tart shape tape. and setting powder right now. See all of it moving across, that's nice. Another thing I was gonna talk about on here is food addiction. Uh, I don't think it's really talked about that much, genuinely. I don't think anybody on here knows for the most part that I'm in the restaurant industry, but I am, uh, hence the crazy hours. It's very hard to break a food addiction when you're around food all day. Now, I mean, most of it isn't vegan and stuff, so like I don't have a hard time with that uh, for ethical reasons. However, there's still breads and other stuff around and it does make it difficult some days. Um, and the crazy hours make it definitely hard as well. I'm just brushing my hairs up and I'm using uh, the Milani dip brow pomade. I don't think it's called that because that's Anastasia's, but pomade, whatever. And yeah, it's just really difficult to uh, do it, but I'm doing it. We're here. Also, that's another huge thing I want to talk about, diet culture, right? And it's weird because I'm on this page and it's talking kind of about like not kind of, it's talking about your diet. But this isn't to like shame anybody. You should love yourself no matter the size you're at. I say that because I've always struggled with that. So I know it's important. 
But this is genuinely about like, just like inner health, you know? And if you just wanna like learn some like tips just to like eat healthier once in a while or like whatever it is, like that's totally cool. This is like no pressure on anybody to like be this perfect size. I think our diet culture is completely fucked. Um, and if we spent more time taking care of like our health and just like things that nourish like vitamin wise for our body and like help us sleep at night and like that type of stuff, I think it'd be a whole, I mean, probably wouldn't make as much money, but you know, it'd be a whole different thing. So the diet culture saying one shape is pretty or this is what we have to look like. I'm not down for that. I'm down for teaching and you know all of us learning together what healthier foods are um what makes us feel good on the inside all this so i don't really want this to be like a diet culture thing or shame people into like looking thin if you're happy with you you feel healthy that's all that matters nobody's saying if you don't want to eat that cheeseburger vegan cheeseburger because cruelty free you know that you shouldn't you shouldn't if you want a little less like dramatic look use a lighter color um than like the darkest you would use. Um, sometimes pencils help, it just kind of depends, shorter strokes, whatever. I have thicker, natural, more natural brows, so like I kind of sometimes have to do it darker. I don't know, I just kind of play it by ear. And then this that's left over, I'm gonna do as a beauty mark again. I just pretty much use a fluffy brush or anything too, guys. Like this is nothing interesting. <laughs> my crease and the outer edges. I don't know if people can see this. You'll see it when it's done. And then I ran out of bronzer, so I'm gonna use eyeshadow as bronzer. Just throwing that out there. putting it in like the corner and this brush is really old by the way um in the corner and then just kind of working it inwards because i don't want the inside of mine to be super dark and then just for the purpose of this i'm just going to darken it because you can't see it as much on camera <laughs> going on and then honestly for my lid I just want to keep it a light color I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna do gender fluid and I'm just gonna kind of pack it on and then I'll brush it out a little bit with my brush you guys are about to see how janky I do my makeup kind of go over this with the brush a little bit just to blend it all together I'm gonna take what I just used for my eyebrows and I'm gonna grab a super dark brown and I'm just gonna apply it like eyeliner, because it kind of, it'll give your uh, lashes depth. See, just a little bit, that's it. I'm gonna take one of the lighter colors and go under my eyes to get rid of all this like lightness and just like blend this better into my eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna actually curl my lashes today. Also, I need to get my roots done. Do you see that stuff? Do you see that? Also, mascara, it's okay if it gets places because once it dries, you literally can wipe it off with your um, blending brush, your blending eyeshadow brush. Also, this just shows you you don't need a bunch of fancy stuff to do your makeup. Like when people need like 50 brushes or um, 
all this these different gadgets like you totally don't. And there is vegan drugstore makeup. And yes, I put on a lot of mascara. Uh, I love the way false lashes look. I hate putting them on. Not because I can't put them on, but they drive me nuts. Also, I'm not a fan of highlight either, so. Now, I'm gonna use eyeshadow as bronzer. Because I'm out and I live in the mountains and I don't have a makeup place close and I don't know, I guess I just haven't ordered online either, so. So if you want like a summer sun kiss look, you can do your whole nose. If you want it contoured, you can do the sides. If you want it super chiseled, use the smaller brush. If you just want some definition, you can use whatever size brush. That's in my own opinion. I know makeup gurus would go nuts over me saying that. I don't have an issue with my nose, so I don't ever try to make it smaller. Fun fact, my nose is my favorite part of my body. Another thing I'll sometimes do is put like a nice inner corner. I do wanna get that mascara off. Just make sure you don't have like a black color on your blending brush because it'll go up there. Anyway, now it's gone. See what I mean? See what I mean? If you want to do definition on your lips, you can do this and it'll make it look bigger. See that? Uh, you're not going to see you put a lip anything on. I know that doesn't make your lips better, but unless I'm taking photos, it's not my thing. I'll put a clear gloss on or chapstick. Inner corner, I gave. I really don't take a ton of time to do my makeup. Oh, and if I want to do this, which the bronzer kind of covered up enough, but I just tend to take my eyebrow thing and I'll either use eyebrow color, a dark brown, whatever, and I just kind of go over top. And if it gets too dark at all, you can just go back over with your foundation brush and don't have any foundation on it because you have powder on, remember, but like, Leftover a little bit, and I got a beauty mark. If you pick the right foundation, you shouldn't have to blend down too much at all, but. Thank you for getting ready with me. Thanks for catching up with me. I don't do anything crazy, interesting, cool with my makeup. Day to day, this is kind of it. Actually, I don't even usually put eyeshadow on. I, I usually just put like a bronzer in the crease, but that probably would have been a little bit boring in the video. Anyway, thanks for tuning in with me. I promise I'll do a, what I eat to do next. Let's keep it vegan. Let's keep it healthy, nutritious, oil-free. Unless, you know, you have an insane metabolism and you have to have some oil because I know some people like that in my life. And let's just support each other. 2021, I want it to be like a really good year for health, prosperity, and the sense of like community, building a good community. Um, and just, yeah. That's all. So, thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you want to see anything down below. Bye. I don't know if I should explain everything as I go. What are some of your goals for 2020? Is it to ride a bike? Shout out to my best friend Taylor that can't ride a bike. I wonder how much this is gonna get really cut out because uh, I'm not gonna do a 20 minute video.